Hey guys, it's Amanda, creative gardener, and welcome to the garden. So in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, different types of fencing. And um, I'm not talking about fencing. Um, I'm talking about fencing on a budget. So this um, is a, uh, it was a temporary kind of fence I put up um, when I was going to say Sakani, but when Cole, our dog, um, started to get big and he was um, not staying in the confounds, com, confines, confounds, confines of that area there. So what I did was I, I built this, not built it. Um, we had these sheets laying around, and they were on the under in under under the house basically. And he would sit, he would sit right there looking at me out here um, gardening. And I think he was plotting <laughs> his escape. So what he was then able to do, it was a low thing to begin with. And I've had to raise it. And these, this is, was the last ditch attempt I made to raise it. But he can jump over it. And um, he can even jump over. I'll go around the front of this. <laughs> so as high as that is, he can jump um from a standing position so um what i've been recently doing is i've seen online um some ideas for um it's called deadwood deadwood a deadwood hedge or something like that and basically what it is is um posts on one side and then on another side and you fill it with not sticks but branches any any wood from trees that you may have so I'm lucky in that there's a lot in my area and at the far end of this property um, actually I'll show you okay so right at the back there is um, lots of trees growing it's they're called um, river tamarin um, in this space in front here, that's where the organic farmer is. And our boundary starts here. And I've created the Mexican sunflower um, hedge that you can see. So, when I need um, branches, I can harvest those from down there because they grow really quickly and each I was going to say they kind of grow thousands and thousands of, of um, seeds. Look, you can see that's where Cole has gone to see his... Can you see him? He's gone to see his girlfriend, Irma, and her brother. I think they've probably gone in to uh, have some dinner. Anyway, let's get on. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> <laughs> downstairs and um, yeah so this was a mess if you see some of the other videos you would have seen this was a mess and um, every time he tried to jump over I put more bricks not bricks sticks to stand up and block his way and every time he kept jumping over it and it's leaning this way because I think one day he was chasing uh, a mongoose and he actually jumped on the fence itself and it um, came down or well, parts of it came down because I did it in sections and um, what I've done there is put poles in and then attached the um, fence in to the poles so now he's bigger and he comes out and he goes down to see his friend down there comes back and hangs out with me what i decided to do was clear all this up that black bag is there because it was um the ants had decided to make their home in it so i'm trying to um find the courage to grab it all up and um get uh put it we recycle if it, it can be i might be able to put it out um, the ants might have actually gone because they've been disturbed. Anyway, so I took um, this part down and I've moved it here for now, just so that it's um, from the inside, it looks like it's still a continuous line. To coal, sometimes what happens is he 
comes in this way so when I shut the front bit he'll come back this way but he won't come out this way and he'll only come out this way if he's seen a mongoose so um, so this is the front way this is the way that I've taught him that we come out and there's black bags everywhere because that's got leaves in that's gonna have leaves in this has got rubbish that can't be recycled in I've got the cardboard to put all over the place um, so when it rains like in there like there because um, it gets so muddy anyway so when I shut this or when I open it he'll sit there and wait for me to say come on you can come out now so that's that and I'll show you um, in terms of fencing so you can have you know um, I would prefer natural fencing and so in some places what I've done is I've used the broadleaf thyme that I gushed so much about when I first started my channel. It was just like, I was so amazed at how it was growing. It was just, oh my gosh, broadleaf thyme. And now it's just like, oh my gosh, broadleaf thyme. But no, it's still, if you look at some of my earlier videos, you'll see it's got so many great uses. So. What I spent a lot of time doing is, um, I'll stand where you can actually see. Um, so all of this was open. All of this was open and I took my time, grew the Mexican sunflower and then cut it and replanted it, cut it and replanted it. And as it grew, I just cut, kept cutting. It grows really quickly, yeah? So I've got it all along here are some spots um, and let me just show you this first up here and I've put it along the front as well now it's a lot drier on the front so it's not grown as lush as it can do and there's a really there's a spot in the garden where it's the Mexican sunflower is just like, I'm cutting it like every week, or it would seem like that. There's a friend that we'll talk about. We'll talk about this tree in another video. Um, but here, this particular patch grows really lush um, and I'm having to constantly cut it back and I've cut it by half and I just keep cutting it really. Um, and I think what's happened is on the, there's a pipe my neighbor's water pipe but it's the on the roadside part and I think there's a gash where it leaks but the water authority it's the water authority's responsibility so we're still waiting for them to come out in the meantime what I've done is plant up some uh, fruit trees you can see here I've got the pomerac there I've got um, papaya and I've got some pomegranate here I've got um, tamarind here but yeah if you look at the front and what I've done is where I've cut all I've done is taken those branches and filled the gaps because as I say this front part um, there's a lot more rocks and lime um, than there is soil we've got a very heavy clay soil so I'm having to um, just, I'm filling the holes for the moment until enough will build up because what's happening is the leaves and the branches are breaking down and creating soil. So I just continue to do that. You can see under there and I'll just continue to do that. And as it breaks down, it will create, there will be another little hole um, formed um, because it's broken down, but then I continue to build up and like here See I need to put put a bit more on so I'm putting the um, Thicker stems of the Mexican sunflower and they take longer to break down um, But it uh, then you know, that's uh, a cheap cheaper way of um, creating a hedge and it's providing you know I'm chopping and dropping and it's providing um, sustenance and food for <laughs> my tamarind tree oh my gosh 
Oh no, that's Skinnip. Sorry, I was pointing to the same tamarind. That's Skinnip. Anyway, so what I want to do with the hedge is build it up. So I've got some, um, if you look down there, that these trees you can create a hedge with. And I've planted some um, along here. I planted some along there. So they're growing and as they grow, I'm planting more. Um, I just get the seeds and we've got a nice tree that's growing. So I get the seeds and I um, germinate them. They germinate really quickly. It's been fantastic. And I um, just plant them out. They don't like being moved. Um, you have to be very careful with them because I've kind of grown them and then I've moved them and then they've not survived. So you have to be really um, selective as to when you when you actually decide to uh, move the plants so that they survive. Okay, this is the next. So this is my first attempt at a deadwood. Um, well, it wasn't really an attempt at a deadwood. What it was is coal. This was all open um, because I hadn't planted anything there. We were gonna do some work and have like a way that you can drive in um, and park closer to down there, but it didn't kind of work out that way. And so what I started doing was just try and stop coal from jumping over. So this is a kind of basic um, deadwood hedge. Um, what you would do, I've got some of the upright sticks, um, but as I say, I'd put one here and one there, and then you fill it, fill the middle with the dead, you know, the branches that you um, can find. So what I need to do is get longer branches and build it up. So as I say, there's lots of trees down there, but I can cut down because within all the branches, um, you get some really quite thick branches, like even this one. So this is a river tamarind tree. So you can see the size of that, I've, the size of that branch. Now I've cut this back and it, they just grow back um, and they just find ways. And what happens is each one of these pods, they have about 10 to 15 seeds and they drop and they've got extremely thick and long uh, roots. So they just establish themselves really quickly. So yeah, so that I decided to put them down and when I initially did it, he wasn't able to jump it. Um, and then he soon found ways in which he could jump it. And this is the Broadleaf Time Hedge. So this is, this is doing quite well. Um, it's grown tall, so he can't jump over this bit um, and I've just allowed it to grow. And all I did was chop from where it was and drop it to where I wanted it to be. The soil that it's on is very poor. There's probably hardly any soil whatsoever. It's more kind of limes, limestone. Um, and so I was really surprised to see it grow, but it probably likes that kind of soil. So this is perfect in terms of height. So Cole's not gonna jump over it, but he's found a way to jump over this, this part. So, I'm waiting for some uh, more rain to come so that this will grow up. These um, are these are the flowers and we've got seeds coming out there. But what I do is I cut and I put things back in the middle. The only thing that I've got to um, deal with here is the this um, that's kind of trying to wrap itself around. So I just, you know, basically just come and um, just break it off and pull them off. And they're really easy. So all I do, as I say, all I do is, they normally break, <laughs> normally break really easy. So I just break a piece off and I put it down in here. That's all I've done literally for this this to grow like this I broke it off I put my put them all in my wheelbarrow and then just brought them up so um, I'm assuming that this is grown really lush 
because of we've had a bit of rain and because the water that's flowing from the top there is obviously coming downhill and so this gets the first lot of water drinks it up and then this lot is kind of left um, the other place that I've used the Mexican sunflower is here I wanted to separate the two um, areas um, as my main food production area at the back sorry about the lighting it's uh, dusk is coming and um, just this area so that you know um, in time what I want to be able to do is you know maybe have um, a seating area here um, where you could come and not look at under the house but that's we're gonna have to once I've decided what I need to do there but um yeah so just to separate the two areas and um, it's kind of worked it's grown really quickly um, and again it makes a nice kind of it's not like a, a solid wall but it's another it creates another area which um, is really quite nice to you know you've got that area you know what I mean. Anyway, it's really quite nice. It is. It is. So let us walk around. And obviously, if you've got rocks and, you know, quite large rocks, you can utilise those and make kind of, uh, well, not necessarily a hedge, but a separation. Um, I've not found, but these have appeared. I guess they were there from before. And what I want to do is... Um, move them up to the front so where i've got gaps in the front hedge i'm going to start i've seen some i mean the the rocks that they use are massive like boulders but these might look okay you know up at the front kind of along the front um either behind or in front of a hedge so i'm going to try that and i've also used the scarvola as well um I've planted some up at the top because it does grow quickly and it does give you quite good coverage and all you need to do is um, you know you can keep cutting it but it's this one is just from one piece so that's that's that so that's yeah the the kind of the hedges that I've got so far well this is another one as well I'll put the name up for you um, this again grows really likes it where it is I've tried it in other spots but it's not really um, found its footing didn't really like it so I'm still experimenting and I've cut this back at least you know two times half the size because as soon as the rain comes it grows really um, lush I also want to see if I can get a dye from the leaves because it's a nice rich it's this rich reddy color i'd love to see what kind of or whether it's from you know these that i can get some color anyway so that's that um the only other semi kind of hedge is um i'm using sakani the there music um I'm using the river tamarind and creating um, another kind of kind of hedge. And what I'm going to do, what the thought process is, I'm going to put it along here. And yes, it's a tree, but you can cut it and keep it to the size that you want. And as I say, they grow really quickly. So, um, and I'm doing a similar kind of thing here. We do the grass does need a cut um, in front of the well. Um, what I want is kind of like an arch archway from the uh, using the trees. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's that. And um, so I hope that I've given you some examples. Like as you can see here. I've used a scarvola just along here. I've not cut any of it. Um, I've just allowed it to grow. But what I am going to do, as the more rain we have, 
um, again it's going to be growing really quickly so what I intend to do is to cut it back and then all the cuttings um, I will uh, plant and put them elsewhere because this is another plant that grows really quickly um, but I didn't cut it I didn't do any cuttings because um, I didn't have the time to repot them or you know put the cuttings in pots so um, they've just stayed and grown but it's going to look interesting once I cut it back and um, so I planted all on that side there's a little ditch in front of me and it's all as I say it's all just grown really quickly but the other thing it's um, stopped happening is where there isn't any you can see the grass is growing so it's also you know like providing a control for the grass this area does get kind of dry um, so I'm thinking you know yeah once I cut it back a bit and then I can mulch it a lot better and uh, yeah that's again another um, hedge like or plant that you can use um, in a hedge like setting if that's <laughs> the right words oh my gosh oh there's one more let me show you the one more it's um, fountain grass so if you've got uh, different types of grasses you can use the fountain grass as well and um, I've put five I put five pieces at the front of the house and they've grown really well um, I'll show you we'll go around to the front again and then we'll come back here um, they actually need cutting back so as you can see at the front I've, I've got five growing there and what I'm going to do is fill in the spaces and just have this this bit this the drive bit just have fountain grass <laughs> growing along the front um, Cole can actually still jump over it so you know we are looking to uh, try and put a fence in there um, but coming back here you see I've put fountain grass here and it's it's grown really well I thought it had died but it's actually you know it's flourished and this is the only weak spot here Cole can jump over this bit and he will it's like an Olympian <laughs> but um, yeah the fountain grass has grown the soil is poor here um, but it seems to it seems to like being in this spot so where I can put it even to block um, gaps in the Mexican sunflower I'll do it as you can see I've just put down some of the the, the um, branches and this is the kind of the basis of the idea for the um, uh, deadwood hedge um, you put posts in I've just used the branches themselves and then I've just put the um, sticks on the other side and they're not going to fall down so I'm just doing that for now okay so that's it I hope that that's been informative and you can maybe try some ideas and um, let me know how you get on again it's for you know if you don't have the money to um, buy you know buy, spend money to buy uh, like a fence or you know you've just got a small area that you want um, taken care of then use your plants you know you can take cuttings from your plants and utilize them and beautify your surroundings um, in a very inexpensive way so I hope that that's really been useful to you and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.